Hello and welcome to our tutorial. Uh, in this uh, tutorial we are going to make um, a plastic kind of plate, a kid's plate, and we're going to try and integrate it into some video. So we'll have a quick look at the video. So um, this is a very short, very fizzy piece of video shot in my kitchen. Um, of a child's plastic beaker and a little bowl and I also have a reference image here um, well let's double click on it, we'll open it, which is of a plastic plate uh, and we're going to use this as our uh, reference for a texture on our plate. Now this is far from ideal as source material but um, it'll suffice for what we what we want to do. Um, okay, so I'm going to start by deleting um, the default cube with the X key. I'm going to hit N and call up properties here and I'm going to turn on start display so you can see when I use keys etc what keys I'm pressing. So on the numpad I'm going to go 7 and 5 to go top orthographic and I'm going to add uh, a circle. And by default, the circle has 32 vertices in it, so it's 32 individual points in space. And the smaller that number, so if I set it down to 3, so this is a circle, it doesn't look like a circle, but this is a circle with 3 verts. And this is a circle with 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. And uh, we'll go up to, we'll give it 16. So it wasn't, it's not as smooth as it was, but we can fix that later. So this is going to be our starting point. So, um, so in Blender, the default circle that we add um, is two meters wide, which is very big. So, we want our plate to be about uh, ten centimeters or twenty centimeters wide. So we're going to go scale point zero and we're going to zoom in and this is roughly the, the plate that we want so I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to go E to extrude and then escape and then S so I'm scaling in and again I don't have to be in top orthographic for this I'm going to go E escape S now I'm just doing this by hand so I haven't uh, moved this in an exact amount E S and then I'm going to hit F for face. Um, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and right click in between two verts on this outside ring and it will select the entire um, so you can see it's loop select. Uh, it's a very handy tool. Now I'm going to look from front orthographic. I can go E and Z and move this up again just a little bit and I'm going to hit S to make it a little bit bigger maybe S, maybe it's a little bit, make it a bit wider. So there's my plate. I'm going to over, I'm in object mode now. I'm going to hit shading to be smooth. And I'm going to go over to my modifier uh, stack, which is this little icon here, the um, spanner. And I'm going to pick a subdivision surface modifier. Now, um, the inside edge of this isn't defined very well. So I'm going to go back into edit mode. And I'm going to go Control or and create a loop cut. Now, this wh where I move the mouse now, all these purple lines will appear. So these are all the places I can put my loop cut. I click once to say here, and then I can move um, the loop cut. And as you can see, as I move it backwards and forwards, the the place is getting sort of a, a sharper edge to it. Um, and I'm going to do the same here. Control or bring that down. Now, so that looks a bit closer to the plate we looked at in the picture. I'm going to do one more thing. This has no uh, thickness. So, you know, it's a paper thin sort of uh, plate. So I could go and model that, but you know, Blender has a, a quick tool for me here. So I can click on soli solidify. And then I can change the thickness of it. Okay, so I might just do it instead of making it inside and having a double edge here we'll solidify it out that way 
and again just by I. So there's my plate and I'm going to go into um, again top orthographic. I'm going to tab into um, edit mode and select all using the A key and split my view and open up an image editor and go U unwrap and now I'm going to open the image that we uh, had a look at at the very beginning of the video which is on my desktop I believe and oh there it is there it's got a great name 2017 10 to the 14th blah 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 okay so anyway there's my image and we'll go open and there it is so uh, not perfect <laughs> but we'll, we can fix that so I'm gonna scale this down and press G so all the tools that we use over here G S or for example all work over in this window here so I'm gonna go full screen on this for a second so you can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna go S until you know the tip of my mesh uh, lines up with the, the plate and now I'm going to go SX and scale this in here and then SY and make this a tiny bit smaller here now so now I've placed my image um, on top of my uh, on top of the UV uh, mesh so so I'm ready to start um, making a material for this now at the moment we're in blender render so I'm going to change to cycles render and I'm going to close this UV um, uh, window for a minute I'm going to go over here to materials now by default blender has material so I can either click new and create a new one or use the existing one so I'm going to use the existing one and rename it so I'm going to call it plate um, but in order to use it in the cycles render engine I have to click use nodes so I've done that and I'm going to um, make my timeline a bit bigger and then change this to be my node editor now by default um, I have a diffuse uh, material which is fine I'm going to add a texture into that so I'm going to put in a texture image texture and I'm going to collect these two yellow uh, color to color um, I already have my I could click open here but I've already got my image loaded in so I'll just select it and now we'll go immediately to rendered and there is my plate and it looks quite good um, now we have to position lights and do all sorts of things with it but you know, as a starting point that's not too bad at all complete with scratches that my children have put on it okay so um, we can get to transparency etc in in a minute but we're for what we're doing today we're not trying to create a photorealistic place what we're more interested in is its integration into um, our scene so uh, so this is the first part of um, our tutorial so I'm going to stop the recording here and this will be part one which is the creation of the plate so I'm going to save this as a blend file so save as and we'll call it plate um, an L I believe yeah. and then we'll come back for part 2